Families are sleeping in different beds after a depression forms under a Pasco County home. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith live tonight with their story and the moment the homeowner knew something was wrong. Ryan. Yeah, get this, Jameson, a man mowing Megan Dennison's front yard right here. Well, he spotted this hole peeking out from underneath the side of her home here. Now, I've confirmed this depression has not expanded, but experts say three homes on this block tonight are too dangerous to stay in. A hole eight feet deep, eight feet wide, opening right underneath Megan Dennison's home on Barclay Road. It's like a beast under there. It's just like pushing its way through. Tonight, 85% of the depression remains directly underneath her house. Oh my God, what if last night, tonight we were in bed and the whole thing just collapsed in? We'd be dead. If the depression shifts or expands, Dennison and her mother may be forced to move after six years under this roof. So you have memories built in this place. It's me sad. I, I love these people. Pasco Emergency Management warning both next door neighbors to evacuate their homes marked unsafe. But just six feet away, Jerry Rooney says he's staying for now. It seems like it's okay. It hasn't gotten any worse in seven hours. But if it does, I mean, I'll be up half the night. Officials tell me it has the size and shape to hit sinkhole status. Dennison, an aspiring photographer, says she didn't have enough time to grab everything important. Pictures of my family, my grandmother, my father, they're not here with me anymore, my uncle. Those pictures of growing up with them. And Pasco County deputies are out here on the scene right now monitoring this depression. They will be here overnight. Meantime, county officials say they will be back here first thing tomorrow morning to do a complete inspection. Reporting live in Newport, Ritchie, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.